As many of you know, last week this channel hit 100,000 subscribers, so uh, I'm a pretty big deal now. But I wasn't always a big... But I wasn't always a big deal. I struggled for years to get viewers and subscribers on this channel. And in fact, I, I used to get comments all the time that were like, you know, why don't you have more subscribers? And, and at first it felt pretty good. It was a nice little compliment. And then after a while I started being like, why don't I have more subscribers? What am I doing wrong here? It just kind of felt accusatory after a while. I actually still get this. I got this just the other day after I had hit 100,000. I still get people asking why don't I have more subscribers? I'm curious what the magic number is going to be where somebody goes to my channel and is like, yeah, that's the right number of subscribers. But growing your channel is hard. It took me years of hard work to get here, and even then there was some luck involved. So now that I'm here, I thought, you know, what better way to celebrate than by paying it forward and show a little love to some smaller YouTube channels that are similar to mine that I think you guys might enjoy. So here's five small science YouTubers that I think you guys should check out. Some of these channels were channels that I've discovered over the years while researching topics for my own videos and I wound up subscribing them and following them. Others were suggested by the Patreon community, so I would like to thank them for that. So I'll put links to all these channels down in the description below, but as I'm going through it, keep an eye out for cards right here. You can click on it and it'll take you straight to the channel so you can see it real easy. First up is John Michael Godier. He might be a little bit too big to be considered a small YouTuber. He's got 44,000 subscribers, but he came Highly recommended by the Patreon people, so I definitely wanted to include him here. So if you like Isaac Arthur and the kind of hard sci-fi, big mega project, science, you know, alien type stuff that he likes to do, then you'll probably really like John Michael Godier. One interesting thing about John is he is an actual sci-fi author. He's written some science fiction books, and you can really tell in his presentation. You can tell he's really put a lot of thought into some of these concepts, and it makes you start to wonder how many of those concepts have found their way into his novels. He doesn't really talk about his novels very much. He just kind of, you know, uh, plugs them at the end of his videos, which I'm very guilty of doing in my own channel, so that's cool. And I want his voice. He's got this really, like, silky radio voice. It makes me sick. I want his voice. Give me your voice. Next up is a channel called Undefined Behavior. It's only got about 7,000 subscribers, so still pretty small. I found this channel while I was researching my video on whether or not math was real. He does a lot of videos on similar topics to that, including Gödel's incompleteness theorem, which I meant to talk about in the uh, Is Math Real video, but, you know, didn't. I also like that he takes these big mathematical concepts and then applies them to the real world and computer science and election processes and stuff like that. And he explains the concepts with these cool little simple animations that kind of made me think of CGP Grey. So if you're a big fan of CGP Grey, the kind of stuff he talks about and his style of presenting, I think you would really like this channel. Next channel I want to shout out is called Neoscribe. He's got about 18,000 subscribers right now and he talks about a lot of futurism and technology topics like in the real world, not necessarily sci-fi type like John Michael Godier or Isaac Arthur. He likes to talk about computer and electronics advancements and of course space travel, anything Elon Musk he'll usually talk about on there. And he does a great job of posting regularly. He's always putting up new stuff and he's always updating uh, news stories from topics that he's covered in the past. He's also done a lot of coverage of other private space companies like Blue Origin and Rocket Lab. These are both things that I want to cover at some point on my channel, but I haven't gotten around to it yet, but he's done a lot of it. So if you're interested in those topics, it's definitely one place to go. So female science YouTubers are incredibly underrepresented on this platform. Um, and they seem to either be really huge or really small. Like I have, there's several that I follow, like Physics Girl, Vintage Space, Looking Glass Universe, but those are, are fairly big channels. But I wanted to call out a smaller, uh, female-run YouTube channel that works on science topics called Up and Atom. I actually first found out about Up and Atom uh, last year when I went to VidCon. I actually met Jade in person. We were at this little science YouTuber meetup thing and I got to meet her and talk to her and I've been kind of following her ever since. Not stalking, just following. That was weird. She's got about 5,000 followers right now and she's clearly very educated in physics. Like she actually gets into the equations and the math of the topics that she's talking about, which I'm not <laughs> capable of doing. She covers everything from the singularity to AI to quantum computers and even aliens, exoplanets and all that kind of fun stuff. So basically like if you're ever watching my channel and you like the topics but you wish I got more in depth on like the equations and the math behind all these things, you should definitely check her out because she does a really good job of that. Last but not least is Curious Elephant with 33,000 subscribers. He's also on the larger side, but I wanted to include him because he is all about the Elon Musk. Honestly, I, I get a lot of my information about Tesla and SpaceX and all the Musk stuff 
through him. He's constantly covering it, and he does a really good job of keeping up with things. But it's not all about Elon Musk. He also covers emerging technology topics like AR and VR, electric vehicles, that kind of thing. So if you're a fan of the Cold Fusion YouTube channel, he does stuff very similar to that. It's very similar in feel and tone and topic and all that kind of stuff. So those are my five smaller YouTubers I think you guys should check out. Now, obviously, there are many that I know out there that didn't make this video for particular reasons, nothing to do with them. And I'm sure there's a million more out there that I've never heard of in my life because YouTube is ginormous. So if there are any that you're a big fan of and you want to get some love out to, um, feel free to share those in the comments. I do want to give one more quick little shout out to a channel called J Theory. It's run by a guy named Jason from Australia who has actually been helping me out quite a bit in uh, researching my videos and whatnot. So uh, he's just started up this channel. There's only three videos on it so far, uh, but he's doing a good job and hey, he's one of us. So I've got his channel and all the other channels linked down in the description below. Definitely go check those out. You never know, you might find a, a new favorite YouTuber. It's still me though, right? As always, t-shirts available at the store, answerswithjoe.com slash shirts. And if you're still riding that whole Tesla floating in space, hi, Michael came up with this fun little Tesla Nyan shirt, which is a lot of fun. But I'm going to wrap up this video because it's raining right now and it's probably going to start messing with my sound. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, go out, have an eye-opening week, and I will catch you next Monday. Love you guys. Take care.